All right, let's just do this next bit. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's so nice. Welcome back to another video and in today's video it's Friday so we're going to be doing some more Guilty Gear of course and this is uh the song is called Dear Song this has been on the the list for a little while so we're finally getting around to this today um so we're going to get into the reaction in a minute obviously we've done a lot of Guilty Gear on this channel as many of you will know and I've seen before so um please do uh, make sure that if there are requests for other Guilty Gear songs I think there's a few left Please make sure you put those in the comments. Ones that we haven't done, of course. Uh, so I make sure we get those done before we have to look uh, and move on to other games and stuff like that. But, um, right. So having said that, obviously this is a blind reaction. I haven't heard this before. And what we'll do is we'll play a, about a minute. It's a fairly long song. So we'll play about a minute. We'll analyze that minute, go back over it, and then um, carry on another minute and another minute and another minute and so on and so on. So, let's get straight into it then, and let's get into the reaction of Dear Song by, of all, Dear Song from Guilty Gear Exod Revelator 2. In 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so uh, let's talk about that last minute then. So that's a really, that was really interesting actually. Cause it kind of started off with this kind of like hum, um, and I kind of thought like, oh, this is gonna be like a, I don't know, quite an epic sort of song. It starts off with this kind of low kind of hiss that sounds very wide and large. So I thought it was gonna be quite orchestral, but it wasn't. It, it kind of the acoustic guitar kicked off and it had this lovely guitar riff and then this vocal. So, uh, yeah, let's go over that last minute. So, this is the hiss I was talking about. It sounds kind of like the Halo theme, but then we have this guitar theme and also that kind of chord progression just going from the uh, one chord to the other chord. Dun, 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 dun. Kind of uh kind of punk rocky, um definitely sort of that sort of alternative uh rock sort of vibe to it, and then obviously this kind of squealing guitar on the top. Feedback. And that's a lovely, lovely tone to the guitar as well. Very, very like a full thick lead tone. It's very, very nice. So I think for me, like obviously, I really like this guitar riff as well. Um, that they're kind of ending the phrases with, but obviously you can tell the, the the songs in major, so it's got that nice, bright, happy sort of feel to it. Um, it reminds me of a couple of bands. It reminds me of uh, this might be a slightly more niche. Uh, I know if you're from British, you'll know of the Stereophonics. Uh, it reminds me of them. Also reminds me this probably be more of a wider known band as Creed. I love Creed. I, I, I unashamedly love Creed. Um, this kind of um, reminds me of that sort of sound as well. 
um it's definitely kind of like um a very much an early 2000s alt rock sort of vibe to it which no complaints from me no complaints from me at all stop there okay so that was really really nice really really nice we're gonna start back from here and analyze from there um again a, a lovely build from that and the chorus was really really catchy and really really fun let's go back straight into it lovely harmony play there very very nice um and yeah very very bright bright sounding I like as also in that section um, where it went a little bit sort of softer, I suppose. Um, you can hear that instead of the guitars are not playing the full strumming the chords anymore; they're just playing the individual notes, uh, and that's very nice. It's got kind of nice and glittery sounding. Very cool. Where is the beat of car? Where is the round town cafe? still there quick uh yeah so you can, it's catchy like i'm already I'm mouthing along to it um where is your big top car it's 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 a really nice chorus it's again it's just yeah that vibrantness I, i'm really getting like a summer sort of feel to the song it feels like this is a song that could underlay uh like an again like an early 2000s kind of comedy film like a nice sort of very happy maybe a rom-com or something like that this could un underlay that a film that would probably involve owen wilson in some way um i think it really really suits that and it's really nice it's really really nice it's quite different actually i was expecting i was expecting some hardcore you know just insane guitar which is what we've had predominantly um from the guilty gear songs um recently and this is a nice difference. It's very nice. Oh, Bye back. And I'm there. yeah, I know. I, I actually should be stopping there, but I, I'm going to stop there just quite quickly. Um, so. The reason why it kind of gives me this sort of summer vibe and this sort of relaxed vibe to it is because of how it's played. Like the the main riff is just a dun, 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 that slow kind of lethargic slide up to it. It's that very relaxed sort of laid back feel that the way the song's being played that gives you that kind of happy sort of feel to it. It's really good. Okay, we'll play another minute now. Maybe more.
let's just do this next bit. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's so nice. <laughs> wow. All right, we're going to stop there because I feel that's going to move on to something else. So we're going to listen to the past minute because we had the verse and the chorus again. So we'll listen to that past bit, which is the guitar part, which was probably, and I'm... I'm going to have to remind myself later on, but that might be one of my favourite guitar solos from the Guilty Gear library. It was really nice, and the tone they managed to get from that guitar was spectacular. It was, oh, it gave me all the endorphins and all the dopamine I could ask for. Uh, let's go, let's go over it. I just want to hold So that's that nice dig a ding kind of introducing the, the, the guitar. This next section is kind of making it dramatic and preparing us for it. It does a similar thing in um, Stairway to Heaven, I'm sure you're aware of. Uh, let's keep going. Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't even know the words to describe that tone because it has the fullness to it, but it's got it's just got that little roughness around it. And it just it just makes me feel things. Um, it just makes me feel tingly. Oh, it's just such a nice tone. Such, such a nice tone. <laughs> Certainly reminds me of... Not much on his records, I suppose, but certainly in his live performances of John Mayer. But he loves playing in major, John Mayer. Um, and this is very much like that. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That lovely hang with the bend, getting pinching the bottom bit. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Adding, obviously, a second guitar to harmonize with it. And it's not like, at the moment, it's not the most complicated stuff. It's just moving from pentatonic shape to pentatonic shape with a little bit of bluesiness in it. But it's just, the you know, the, it's not what you play, it's how. And it, it's, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Oh, lovely descent. And I don't know what the, the what, what is that. That's definitely just must yeah, just like hammering on or maybe tapping or something like that. That's really really interesting sound. I'd love to see that being played. Almost sounds like they've got like a phaser on the guitar, but just, just about on, just about, just so you can just about hear it. You know, it's it's really really subtle. It's kind of like that. I don't know if that's true, obviously, um, but it kind of sounds a little bit like that. It's lovely. Right here we go. Oh, this is good.
Sorry, pause. I want to go over that last minute, but and then we're gonna go over the rest uh, of the song. Uh, one go, but that was brilliant. Okay, I want to play it and then we'll talk about it. Okay. This is yeah. This is that 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 guitar run. This is at the arpeggio, but the mix of like with the with the mute and stuff is really really nice. Very very difficult to play. I love you. Just those chords underlying. It. Shine. This is pure, pure classic rock. This is Guilty Gear has gone dad rock. And I am all here for it. I am all here for it. I I love it. This just this call out to the to the crowd, this audience interaction, this you know this big kind of stand on your hill moment and and scream to the heavens is is fantastic. It's yeah, it's pure pure classic rock in all its best forms. Um, and the, yes, as I say, the guitar underneath it's still obviously doing the same thing, but it's still very very nice, very very nice. Shine! I've got those very high harmonies there as well. Um, very sort of Queen esque, I suppose. Um, to have that sort of pitch of the harmony in there, obviously, if it, would, if it had more layers of harmony, it'd be far more Queen than it is. But it, it kind of has that slight influence there. <laughs> However, that guitar runs very Brian May. <laughs> All right, take us home. Damn. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to really go over that last bit again, but because it was just a, a phenomenal outro, just taking the chorus and building upon it and building upon it, making it more epic. Um, now you're using more vocal kind of flexing to kind of build upon the lyrics um, of your big top car. Um, what I love actually is that little last bit, which we could play a tiny little bit of. This bit. Because that is the the outro of a song that you do live. Like, that is the live kind of, you know, 
what you do. You don't have that in recorded tracks uh, or studio recorded tracks. So I love that they've kept that in and used that because you can tell it with like a lot of Guilty Gear songs, particularly with this one though, that they're written as songs, or it feels like they're written as songs first. And then they're kind of maybe, or they're written to be songs, maybe not songs first, but they're written to be songs in their own right not just to service the the game soundtrack or the characters that they you know represent it is to be a song on its own and they really it really does stand out and i think certainly when we get through the remainder of the guilty gear songs that we want to do i think i will go back over and do a video i think i'll do several videos actually um uh, probably or i'll do a tier list of my favorites and i think this is going to be quite high um and then maybe go into some analysis of further deeper analysis would you be interested in seeing some deeper not just reactions but some, some deeper analysis into the songs that we've done so far or the, the soundtrack as a whole maybe of strive or something like that uh let me know uh let me know in the comments below uh, and let me also know what you thought of dear song in the comments below did you like it did you not like it let me know why um and of course make sure you let me know what you want to hear next on the channel could be from anything please put it in the comment section below and also, if you've made it all the way this far, I'd very much appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. You'll help me out an absolute massive time. We're getting close to 4,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. So if you can push along to, towards that, that'd be great. But having said all of that, thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.